I'll introduce you to a friend of mine. This is Jacob Sandrock. I actually met Jacob the day he was born at the hospital. He says it was one of the best days of his life. He remembers it. <laughs> Jacob made the decision to believe in Jesus. And as a result of that decision, he came and talked to our children's minister. And, and then um, we began to process that decision. Because after you meet Christ, the scripture teaches you to demonstrate that decision through the act of baptism. So baptism doesn't actually save you. It doesn't actually forgive you of your sins. But it shows the world. It shows your friends. In this case, it is church family. That you've made the decision to believe in Jesus. Jesus has forgiven you. Jesus has taken care of your security for eternity. And the baptism reminds us of how that happened. What we're going to talk about this morning. Britton's going to teach us this morning. And he's going to talk about how we have a new life in Christ. That the old life, literally what happens and what we demonstrate with going under the water, is removed by Jesus. And a new life, a new creation takes place in Jesus as you come up out of the water, a reminder and symbol of that. And of course, that happened because of Jesus' death, his burial, and his resurrection. Jacob believes that. We've talked about it. And he's ready to be baptized this morning. Jacob, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Raise the walk in newness of life. All right, tell you what, as a congregation, let's pray for Jacob for just a moment. Father, we are thankful for Jacob. We are thankful for this day. Thankful that when he asked in his own words for you to be a part of his life, you heard, you responded, and you are now living in him and through him. And we celebrate that with his baptism today. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> 